harvest of babies. Babies are God's heritage, the heart of God, the heartbeat of parents. In Mercer City, babies flow like water with an ease of passage. Miracles and other ills are gone with the wind. IVF is not a question. Barren women become fertile in the headquarters of the factory of babies. Find your identity in your maker, God, with apples. Make one, get two, receive triplets, deliver quadruplets. Eggs are more important than omelets. Babies are more important than eggs. There is no barren woman in heaven. It's a harvest of babies. The desire of God is for every of his creatures to be fruitful. That is the first commandment he gave in Genesis chapter 1 verse 22. He blessed them saying, be fruitful and multiply the hurts. But the enemy being aware of this, blocked the understanding of men, causing barrenness, injuring them from being fruitful. That is why God has given the mandate to his servant, senior prophet Jeremiah, a multiple flame, to break the yoke of barrenness in the life of as many that are barren. Fulfilling the word in the book of Deuteronomy chapter 7 verse 14 that none shall be barren in the land. In this program, Harvest of Babies, you will be seeing those that have been under the yoke of barrenness for years coming back to give their wonderful testimonies. After coming in contact with the God of fresh and raw, the God of quick action, coming back to give their testimonies after being under the yoke of barrenness for many years, same 30 years marriage 30 good years daddy visited me in my dreams that is where my miracle start the program i must carry my sign i was here last last year in <coughs> prayer you hear that i cry it remove all the shame all sickness all barrenness away out of my life Right now, you can see her. The Lord of Jeremiah has submitted her, and she is here for the miracles. Isn't this wonderful? An ease of passage of apple babies, those that their pregnancies have been locked with spiritual chains, and those that the doctors are termed that cannot deliver, coming to deliver with our struggles in mercy seated. In the mighty Jesus Christ, the puissance of Jesus, the healed, the delivered, accouche, the delivered, accouche. L'homme de Dieu a prié tout à l'heure. Psalm 127 verse 3. Children are the heritage of the Lord and fruit of the womb. This is a vest of baby. Mercy land. Had enough solution of power. Mercy land. Had enough solution of power. My name is Prophetess Felicia Ugo from Benue State. 30, 30 years marriage. 30 good years. 30 ans de mariage. Listen to her very well. Écoutez, attends, Those quoi. who are looking for fruit of the womb, de that de who de have no hope again. Plus 30 good years. Daddy visited me in my dreams. That is where my miracle starts. He gave me anointing oil in my dream. Miracle oil. Mercy oil. I drink. He pour on my head. He water me with anointing water. He say, my daughter, your peace has come. Power. Since 30 years, I operate four times. Do you hear that? 30 good years. She was operated 30 ans, four good times. Madam, what kind of operation? 
Why they operated you? The first one, doctor told me that my tube is blocked. Doctor said, uh, Philippian tube, we are going to now form the baby is blocked. Yes? They operate. And they operated her. Uh, the second one, they say that they, my, my, my phyllo, phylloprous tube. The fallopian tube. Is, you have another problem again that should operate me. The again. same doctors said that our Philippian tubes that going to now produce from the baby, it, is, it has a big problem inside the same human being body. Let us operate her. The third one. They say my, fellows, uh, my tube is blocked again. Now, after the second operation, doctor said, a Philippian tube, they say the, 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 we have operated you two times, but this time it's blocked in a different form. We don't understand. We want to operate you again. I went to deep hospital, Abuja. And she has gone to uh, in a hospital in Abuja for the operation. I pay 1.7 catch down. 1.7 million naira she used to pay for the third operation. 300,000 for treatment. That is 2 million. 300,000 for treatment. That is a treatment to just take care of our body. And all is vain. And all, all of them in just for go in vain. Nothing. Nothing happened. The fourth one. The fourth one. It was December 27, 2014. December 27, 2014. That is where that they touch my stomach. They, they, that was one, a year plus. Now, one year some month now. Now, she was op operated the fourth one. And something happened to her. And Somebody they, visited her. A prophet of God visited her in her dream. <laughs> Go ahead. Five days in Chaba, Daddy touched me. I begin to see my menstruation physical every day. Power. Go ahead. I rushed to the hospital. Doctor say urgent operation. There is multitude five blood in my womb. After the fourth, after the fourth operation, doctor now said, "Madam, this one are multiple. Not be double." Multiple. One, two, three, four. There are many. There are what? Many, many. fibroids inside your. They are not babies, fibroids. We want to operate you again. That I should pay 150,000 and I pay it cash. She now paid again. Pay 150 again, oh. We want to now operate you again. And she paid 150 cash. They, they immediately, the uh, doctor operate me in theater. Geo appear. I say, my daddy, Jeremiah, you are welcome. You are welcome. You are welcome. You are welcome. Doctor say, close your mouth. Where Prophet Jeremiah did? I say, see him. The program I must carry my sign I was here last, last year. I <coughs> pray. You hear that? I cry. You people remember the day rain was falling. I stand. I say, my father. All the garment of barrenness I'm going to pull it now. As rain is falling and the rain is beating me, it, it, it removes all the shame, all sickness, all barrenness away out of my life. Oh my God. Right now you can see her. The Lord of Jeremiah has submitted her and she is here for the miracles, for the testimony, for those at who are looking for food to the room all over the world, for them to not believe okay, the God, God of Jeremiah. My name is Prophetess Felicia Ali Ugo. I'm from Benue State. I'm coming back again to testify. Power! 
I got married on 25th November 1985. To this year, make it 31 years now. My brothers and sisters, if you are here, you are looking for a child. Before you left out from here today, go to the altar and make a vow. God of Jeremiah is here to do everything you say out. He has fulfilled my promise as he promised me. I have nothing to say today than to say thank you, God of Prophet Jeremiah. Omoto for free. Madam, how many years is your marriage? It's 31 years this year. 31 good fat years. Hey. She married and she's looking for baby. A child. Just a child. This is the word of God for the baby, Jeremiah. And this is mercy for mercy. And also, Javier, I tap from this baby, this 50,000 naira, and this 50,000 for Messi. 100,000. So, I have to tap from them also. I know the secrets. You also know the secrets. One more and draw. Yes, sir. Power. God of Prophet Jeremiah and so so wonder Jesus they do. So so wonder Jesus they do. My name is Prophet Felicia Ali Ugo from Benway State. This is my second testimony. The people sitting beside me, they are my daughters in the Lord a member of my ministry. I'm here to testify, to encourage all women that people name them Barry. Mm. I'm here to encourage you, whether you are a man or woman, people name you, that name is not your name. God of a woman, woman that cancel my name out of the book of barrenness for 30 years. Hey, hey, hey. To be a, 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 a barren woman for 30 good years. People name you, maybe they name you a witch woman, you are a mommy spirit, you are so and so. But I want to encourage you this evening. Here, this ground is a bus stop. I'm crying a lot. My husband, people, my own blood sister, my relatives, my neighbor, they name me. Call me type of name they want to call me. But I want to tell you this evening, any name they name you, as you are in the condition of barrenness, my sister, as you hear today, I must carry my Samuel. That name is Kansu. As well. yes, if God or Prophet Jeremiah can remember me, take away the shame out of my life, he will surely remember you today. Four times operation. Some hospital, I pay two million, some 800, some 150, a test alone. I can't measure them all. People name you, don't worry, your peace has come. Fallopian tube is blocked. Okay, you are, your fallopian tube was operated so that you can get pregnant. Uh -huh. They operate me that one first time, nothing. Second time again, 
They say, my tomb is blocked again. They operate. Third time, they say, the same. nothing, nothing. As I reach, I must carry my somewhere. After that, the Jew encounter with me in the dream. As she tossed me, say, my daughter, your peace has come. The day break, I start to see my menstruation. Flow, very heavy. Then rush me to hospital. Another operation has come. That is the fourth one. After the Doctor, fourth operation, there was no pregnancy. Yes, the fourth operation. Then operate me, remove 13 five blood mm. and two different type of sickness. Who shall cannot know how to name it? Go ahead. As I was in the theater, G.O. appeared. I said, Prophet Jeremiah, Daddy, you are welcome. You are welcome. 30 good years. Mm. The year that reached 31 years, that is the year I deliver twins. Power! There are 10 months now. Another miracle has happened. Hey, hey, hey. That oh. is what people want to hear. That is what people want to hear. The God of Prophet Jeremiah has broken the barrenness of 30 years. I'm pregnant now. That's it. That is the word people want to hear. Because there are a lot of people waiting for their pregnancy. Because she's pregnant again. You are also pregnant in the name of Jesus. The ultimate desire of God is for every of his creatures to be fruitful. That is the first commandment he gave in Genesis chapter 1 verse 22. He blessed him saying, be fruitful and multiply the hurts. But the enemy being aware of this, blocked the understanding of men, causing barrenness, hindering them from being fruitful. That is why God has given the mandate to his servant, senior prophet Jeremiah of multiple flame, to break the yoke of barrenness in the life of as many that are buried. Fulfilling the word in the book of Deuteronomy chapter 7 verse 14 that none shall be buried in the land. In this program, Harvest of Babies, you will be seeing those that have been under the yoke of barrenness for years coming back to give their wonderful testimonies. After coming and contact with the God of fresh and raw, the God of quick action, coming back to give their testimonies after being under the yoke of barrenness for many years, same. 30 years marriage. 30 good years. Daddy visited me in my dreams. That is where my miracle starts. The program I must carry my son when I was here last, last year. I <coughs> pray. You hear that? I cry. It removed all the shame, all sickness, all barrenness away out of my life. Right now, you can see her. Uh, the Lord of Jeremiah has submitted her, uh, and she is here for the miracles. Isn't this wonderful? An ease of passage of apple babies, those that their pregnancies have been locked with spiritual chains, and those that the doctors attempt that cannot deliver, coming to deliver with our struggles in mercy city. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, in the puissance of Jesus, be healed, be delivered, accouche, be delivered, accouche. Je bénis. L'homme de Dieu a prié tout à l'heure. Psalm 127, verse 3. Children are the heritage of the Lord and fruit of the womb. This is harvest of babies. Harvest of babies. Babies are God's heritage, the heart of God, the heartbeat of parents. In Mercy City, 
babies flow like water with an ease of passage. Miracles and other ills are gone with the wind. IVF is not a question. Barren women become fertile in the headquarters of the factory of babies. Find your identity in your maker God. With apples, make one, get two, receive triplets, deliver quadruplets. Eggs are more important than omelets. Babies are more important than eggs. There is no barren woman in heaven. It's a harvest of babies.